summer. A series of micro progressive steps towards moving from one mindset to another. That's right, actually living in a new mental state of belief and action a few short months from now. It's so exciting to cooperate with how God made our minds to work by doing what 2 Corinthians 10 5 says, to take every thought captive. God gave me the acronym of SHIFT and we are smack in the middle of working it. So how have you been doing with the S and the H? To see it and say it and hear it. That is to literally write it down over and over, speak it out loud, record it, and listen to it as well as visualize yourself in the new mindset. This even applies to strong neural pathways like I have to smoke, moving to I do not need to smoke. The ones we've been following through this series are who I am is enough and anxiety is difficult, but I can tolerate it. Hopefully you've been reading and hearing your new thought a lot. Remember, we aren't looking for a different feeling at this time. You still won't feel like you're enough or that you can endure high anxiety. You still won't feel like that you can live without smoking or hating your in-laws or being afraid of heights or dogs or that you cannot be worried about money. Don't fall prey to society's instant gratification mindset. This is a slow burn over a bit of time, like taking a good walk that has your heart rate up, but you're not out of breath. This isn't a sprint. The next step of this purposeful walk is to I, to ink it. Now, I don't actually mean to tattoo it, although you could do that, but to truly get it down in ink, in writing, multiple times, in as many ways as you can. As soon as you stop watching this video, text it to a friend, put it on your screensaver, write it a hundred times on a whiteboard like some of us had to do in grade school. I'm not kidding though, pair it with some other pleasant stimulus, like sitting outside in the sun, listening to your favorite music, smelling a familiar and enjoyable candle, sipping a fulfilling beverage, sitting near someone you enjoy with your dog curled up on your feet, and then take out a pen and paper and write it down for five minutes straight. Writing with your hand versus typing activates a different part of your brain. Also, spend time writing down all the reasons this could actually be true in your life. I'll never forget when I was facing the fear of natural childbirth, the neural pathway I had to create was you can give birth naturally, but the supporting evidence thoughts were the most important. Like, I've done hard things before, bodies know what they're doing, I am an incredibly supportive husband, and the one that worked the most for me? Women are having babies in fields and other places right now, and if they can, I can. (laughs) So, write the new resting narrative itself down over and over, and then spend time bolstering the potency of this neural pathway by pulling up other related neural pathways of support, familiarity, and strength. It might look like this. So, here's some writing of the new thought over and over in different fonts creatively. And then here's that new neural pathway pulling up or pulling on related ones of strength and support. The science and research for shift is there if you need to be reminded of that now, that we're down and dirty in the daily work. Go back and watch earlier episodes or do your own Google search. But the reality for why we are doing this repetitive work is that repetition builds neural pathways in our brain along which thoughts travel. Because of how the brain is constructed and functions with axons, dendrites, and synapses, the more we repeat something, the deeper the path is and the stronger the memory is. Max Anders said, the brain requires repetition to change. Yes, this is a basic fact. And can you hear wisdom about controlling what we see, hear, and repeat in Proverbs 14.3? I can. It says, by the mouth of a fool comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. The lips of the wise will preserve them. In other words, what we are forming from thought to speech, then repeating, will either break us or build us. You're building. Keep building. You're doing great. Great.